Hey guys, this is Felicia from Poly Vegan Kitchen. Thank you so much for inviting us to share a few recipes with you that you will enjoy, I promise you. So today I am making raw vegan burritos. Raw vegan burritos, everything has already been pre-prepped and I'm going to introduce to you what we have here on our spread. And so um, one of the things that I want you to know is that this burrito, raw vegan burrito might sound crazy, but it's actually really, really, really good. It literally blew my mind when I first tasted it. And so this is a fun way for you to get your vegetables in. We have all the colors of the rainbow here. And let me just introduce to you what we have. Now, these are our collard greens. Our collard greens is going to act like our tortilla, okay? So you wanna make sure that you find some nice size collard greens. I couldn't really find the size that I wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up my collard greens and I'm going to uh, use that as my uh, tortilla. Then after that, you have your meat. Now this meat here is walnut and sun-dried tomato. This walnut and sun-dried tomato has a very meaty taste. You put it into the food processor, you let it process, add in your cumin, your red chili powder, um, add in some black pepper, some salt, and also some paprika. And you'll be surprised at what you can get when you put all those ingredients together. Then we have here our cauliflower, cucumber and bell pepper. This cauliflower here is going to act like our rice. So we have our rice, we have our meat, and of course, what is a burrito without pico de gallo? This is fresh pico de gallo. This is made from onion, tomato, jalapeno, cilantro, uh, garlic, and a squeeze of lime. And then, of course, we have our guacamole. Guacamole, this is store-bought. You can make it yourself if you have the time and it's pretty simple it's just an avocado mash it up add some lime to it some salt and pepper and anything else that you want to add to it cilantro onion tomato you can add all of that into your guacamole it will be really really good so that's pretty much all of our ingredients and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to assemble our uh burrito so let's go ahead and do it so we're going to take um we are going to take our guacamole and we're gonna start off with that. And I'm gonna put a nice helping of that because I love guacamole. So put however much you want. You can also use salsa if you want to add that as well. And, um, and you know, one thing that, um, that I do want to say is that we don't get enough of our veggies. We don't eat enough of this. So. Like I said, it's always good to, you know, to try to have some raw food in your diet, meaning raw food as in raw fruits and vegetables, okay? So after that, I'm going to go ahead and add in my um, meat. I'm going to put that next. And then I'm going to add uh, my rice going to add some rice which is actually cauliflower we're going to put that in there and you know um if if i were to um do this again i would put it into a food processor and make it a lot smaller but big chunks are fine too uh we're going to also add in some of our um some of our cucumber i'm going to add in some bell pepper and then I'm going to add my pico de gallo, okay? So we're gonna put that in and look at this. This looks so good. I don't know about you, but to me, this looks really, 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 really good. And I promise you, it tastes really good. I wouldn't, I would not show you a recipe unless it tasted really good. So now what we have to do is we have to try to figure out how to roll this up. So I'm going to bring it in here, bring it in here, and then I'm going to roll it on up just like this. And it's going to be a little bit messy, but don't worry because it's all going into the same place. And there you go. This is a raw vegan burrito 
And if I were to cut into it, I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. There you go. That's your raw vegan burrito. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste on camera just so that you can see that it is edible. And let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, here we go. Mm. This is so bomb. This burrito was so delicious. It was so good. I hope you guys give it a try. Now we're going to go ahead and share with you a documentary that we shot and edited of a old couple who lives in Wisconsin who is raw vegan. They've been raw vegan for over 40 years. And the reason why we captured their story is because they are fully independent. They have no caregivers. They have no one there helping them. And they are so passionate about the health message. And so I just hope and pray that this documentary will inspire you to add more of these wonderful fruits and vegetables into your diet so that you can live to serve God even better. Have a wonderful rest of the camp meeting. God bless you and happy Sabbath. In December of 2019, I met Jim and Jan Lyberg in Wisconsin who had a very peculiar lifestyle. For their age, I was impressed by their health. Jan at the time was 82 years old and her husband, Jim, was 90. They lived independently, still did ministry, and were very active. I decided to interview them to see what their secret was. The first 40 years I was a lacto-ovo vegetarian, using milk, eggs, and cheese. Then I became a vegan at about age 42, 45, somewhere in there. And then at 78, my health went downhill. I had several complications, which I don't need to go into here, but uh, my health greatly improved after that when I became a raw vegan. And I do feel that my health is much better than it was 30, 40 years ago. I feel much better. I'm 90 years old and I have no pain whatsoever. And it's really done me well. My goal, if the Lord wills, is to live to be 110. <laughs> that's wow. that's a, a hope, you know. Uh, the way I feel right now, I think I should make it. And I can get around very well. I just praise God for it. And you're driving? I still drive a car. I can drive. I have a license that takes me to age 95. And I might renew it at that time, possibly. So we have much for which to be thankful for. And that's why we like to praise the Lord and encourage others to follow His plan. I'm 82 years old and I am a 100% raw food vegetarian for the last 40 years of perfect health. I have not had a cold or flu or fever or sickness of any kind in 40 years of eating 100% raw. And I want to share this secret of health because I believe it comes from Jesus. Uh, I can remember when I was sick all my life for 42 years. Um, I was raised on a dairy farm, grass-fed cows. We didn't have pork or chickens or anything. But on dairy milk, I was so sick all my life, I'd be gone from school 10 to 20 days a year, even though I was an A student. And then finally, it culminated in my getting breast cancer. And when they wanted to uh, do surgery, I said, no, I just read the Bible all the way through. And in one town, Jesus healed everybody. And I asked Jesus, please heal me from head to foot. And that was a big order because every organ in my body had had infection at one time or another and I was just sick all the time. And so all of a sudden the Bible opened up to chapter 1, Genesis 1 and I looked down and there was the answer that healed my cancer at home without doing anything else with the doctors at all. It was the original diet and I went home later and got rid of sugar in my house after discovering this diet of God's, I surrendered my appetite, thirst, lust, and free will to the Lord's service. Overnight, 
I decided to just switch my diet. And I was driving home when the next miracle happened. I had always ignored the health food stores, thought that that's where the druggies sell marijuana because there were plants in the window. How naive can I be? And uh, all of a sudden, the Lord said to me, stop at the health food store. So I obeyed and went in and I said, help. And they came running to help me and they said, what can I do for you? I said, well, I guess I've just become a vegetarian and I don't know what, what else do I need? I've got a car full of raw fruit and vegetables. And so they taught me that I should get rid of the oil bottles in my house because that oil can make your blood cells so sticky that they uh, become like clusters of grapes and there are places in your body where little tiny blood vessel capillaries are as tiny as a human hair. And when you try to pump these bunches of blood cells together, you have a stroke. And I didn't want that. And so then they said I should replace my sugar with raw unpasteurized honey from a farmer before he kills all the good enzymes in it. So I get it by the five gallon bucket in the summertime. And then they said that I should also replace my hamburger and steak with some good rich protein from raw sunflower seeds ground up, raw pumpkin seeds, which heals prostate and breast cancer, I've heard, and flaxseed, which uh, feeds your brain and your joints, so we don't have any joint problems. My husband is 90 and I'm 82 and we don't have any joint replacements. And uh, sesame seed helps to replace milk. And then of course raw nuts also, walnuts, pecans, Brazil nuts have selenium in them. So I bought all these things and I went home, put my groceries on the counter, and I opened up the cupboard, and I took down a can of peas, and I read labels for the first time. Here I was 42 as an A student, and I hadn't been reading what I'm putting in my mouth. And it said sugar and salt. It's vegetables, sugar and salt. Crackers had gobbledygook in it I couldn't even pronounce. And I thought, what a dummy. Here I've been not knowing what I'm pouring in my mouth, and what, no wonder I'm sick. So I opened up the freezer and saw that meat that I had carefully wrapped and it felt kind of queasy. And I thought, oh, Jesus, please tell me, what should I do with all this junk? And God was ready for me. He had it all planned. And all of a sudden I heard a knock at the door and my neighbor lady came in crying. And I hugged her and I said, what's the matter, honey? And she said, my husband and I are going to get a divorce. We've j he's just left me and the kids and he's not going to send us any money for a month and we're going to starve. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> and I op op pointed to my open cupboard and my freezer and my open refrigerator. I said, take all of this out of here because I'm allergic to it and I've been sick all my life and I'm going to be a vegetarian from now on. So before I could change my mind, she packed it all up in bags and boxes and carried it away gladly. And then I was left with only raw food. And I didn't know how to cook it. It's not easy to do it on your own. We can't do it. But God can do anything. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I called a pastor who was, had just been sent to northern Wisconsin, and he was a raw food vegetarian, Seventh-day Adventist pastor. And I said to him, how do you cook this stuff? He said, you don't have to cook it, eat it raw. And I said, Cabbage for breakfast? Come on, be real. I don't know how to do this. He said, well, I'm a pencil pusher as a pastor, and I don't eat my beans and my hard vegetables until supper time, but uh, eat your fruit and grains in the morning and grind them up so that you get all the benefits out of them. And uh, I said, how do you eat? And he said, we eat twice a day. I said, what? I thought everybody eats three meals a day. I said, why do you eat twice a day? He said, we don't want to get fat. That made so much sense to me. And I had 40 pounds overweight that I didn't need to have on me. And I wanted to get rid of it. So I just started eating the raw food. I went to the doctor. The doctor tested my blood. And he said, Jan, this is a miracle. Your blood is not pink and anemic for the first time in 39 years of medical records on you. What have you been doing to yourself? And I said, I'm disobeying you, doctor. I'm not eating any more red meat or liver or any animal products. I'm just eating vegetarian and I'm eating it raw. He said, keep it up, it's working. 
So um, I ate that way for a month, and then I decided to go back and see my beautician again at the beauty parlor. Because she had said to me just before all this happened, Jan, do something. You're turning gray and going bald at, in your 40s. You've got to save your hair. And I didn't know what to do. So I went back to the same girl. And I said, when you get done washing and blow drying my hair, would you look in the roots and see if there's any changes? And just like the doctor, she said, Jan, what are all these half inch high dark brown hairs coming back all over your scalp? And my hair came back and it's still here at 82. So praise the Lord. It was like a miracle. So then I just kept on eating this way. My cancer vanished. My cancers never come back in 40 years. I used to have angina pains across my chest. I was going to get a heart attack pretty soon. And that's all disappeared. It's never come back. I didn't do anything to treat it at all. No chemotherapy, radiation, or surgery. Just changed my diet. Thanks again for tuning in. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. We upload a new video every Monday. And remember, no matter where you are on this journey, there's always room for you right here on our table at Polly Vegan Kitchen.